Because he was doing Hello, Macam Cabby here. Well, are Sunderland gonna sign a striker or strikers? But they're gonna wait until deadline day before getting them over the line. I mean, is that just is that too late? Is that too far away? I mean, that's a few games into the season, still without a striker. Or do you think it doesn't really matter as long as we get them? <coughs> but uh, what the hell are they doing? Well, I mean, once again, we're going to this silent treatment again, aren't we? Where the fact, like, only a matter of days till the season starts. And once again, we haven't got a front man. And these next few games up until the transfer deadline day could be the matter of Sun and staying in the league going down or getting promoted depending on how many games we go without a striker or two. Because um, there's more and more Sun and fans getting agitated once again because this silence is happening. You know, the club keeps posting things about like season tickets, season cards, and but fans are now starting to get a bit impatient and say, well, wait a minute, what, what the hell's going on with our striker situation? Because so I'm telling you now, if we start that season, which it looks like we're going to, without any strikers, we're, we're, we're going to struggle. Because that squad out there, there's nobody out there to score regular goals out there. We're, we're just nowhere near dangerous up front at all. And I kind of see um, Joe being an out and out striker. Maybe that's what they're trying to do. Maybe that's why they're not wanting to get the striker in at the minute because maybe they're going to try Joe Bellingham up front. Give him a number nine shirt or something. But until we see how Joe's going to produce um, for Regis Le Brie, we're not going to know. But there's a lot of Sunderland fans, they're not confident because they've seen how Joe's been well, performing the last season and a bit. It's like, he's not up to much. I mean, you got Oshish, and I've read a lot of comments, a lot of fans saying, don't rate him at all, don't rate him. Rusin, didn't rate Rusin. And these are the comments that I'm reading on social, me social media, what the fans are saying that, so far, the majority of the foreign signings we've brought in have just been absolutely shite. They're just nowhere near good enough for the championship. And yet you get the small handful saying, well, let's just at least wait and see how the team beds in under Regis Lebrie in the next, uh, in the few games into the season. Yes, it's worrying some of the games we've played and for friendlies. But I'm not going to look too much into friendlies, to be quite honest with you, because they, did, they didn't mean anything. And a lot of fans are saying, you know, doesn't say much for our second string squad if we can of beat Bradford. But there's no intensity in friendlies, is there? There's no that, there's not that urgency. We've got to get the three points today, we've got to go for the win. There isn't that urgency. Now, some people say, well, they'll, they'll think they'll be wanting to play for a place in the team. But I don't think it's like that. You've got to judge a few games into the season. But the concern is, it looks like we're going to start the season with no strikers. And there's going to be a lot of unhappy Sunderland fans. You know. And we all know the majority of deals are done over transfer, transfer deadline day. Because that's where the, the banter and the bartering starts and the deals are done. But how long have they had to get this sorted? And every single time they go for a player, whether it's overseas, it takes an absolute age when yet other clubs get strikers and stuff sorted. It's the, it's done and dusted in a matter of a matter of days, but us it just seems to go on and on. I mean we we could we should have had strikers in weeks ago. Giving them time to get bedded into the squad, get get used to the system, get used to the the surroundings. That the, the, the Regis Lebre get used to him. 
And when's, when's Ray Dislabri going to bring his backroom staff? It's like, we just seem to be focusing on the football strips at the minute. Yeah, they're great. Of course they are. I, I think they're the best strips we've had in a long, long time. But it's not what the fans are wanting. Yeah. We've... The honeymoon period of the football strips is done and dusted now. Yeah, very nice. They're beautiful. Thank you. What the hell's going on with our striker situation? It's gone. It's, it's gone on too long. This silence. And it's starting to really pay off a lot of Sunderland fans. I mean, I'm getting a bit frustrated at the minute. So, I don't know what you think about that. It's just um, mad. It's just typical us. But there's going to be a lot of unhappy fans if we do wait until transfer deadline day to get a striker. And even then, you're not guaranteed out, are you? Anyway, I'll be doing my show tonight, the, uh, the uh, Mackham Review show. I'll be doing um, going through what the fans have been saying the last week. I'll be reading all the comments on my uh, YouTube page as well. 7 till 8, so you're welcome to join me on there. Um, and in the meantime, enjoy your Thursday if you can. See you later.